great. That really looked great. Really good fun indeed. You're bendy. Thank you. Now we are joined by two expert marketing and PR people, Lorraine Fraser and Martin Hunt. Thank you very much for joining Thank us, you. both yeah. of you. Now we have to talk about the fact that it's a bit of a vegetable crisis happening at the moment, isn't there, Martin? Well, there is. But the thing is, I'm not sure that it should. we should be making it as serious as it is because it's all about imported vegetables from Spain and it's being limited by some supermarkets so you can only buy two iceberg lettuces when you go in. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, why don't we be... I want to launch something tonight and I want to have launch an Eat Our Own February. We've had a dry January, so let's have an Eat Our Own February and buy and, buy and eat root vegetables, um, all the parsnips, carrots, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, all these wonderful vegetables that we grow here yeah. and we can have our own and we don't have to worry about being well, left the, but the cut thing is short. Though, but the thing is though, supermarkets are rationing vegetables and my kids are delighted with this by the way because yeah. they don't think they get any vegetables this weekend. Lorraine? Whoever buys two iceberg lettuces anyway? And <laughs> 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 they're the most dull vegetable you can ever think of. Yeah, and what's happened to the broccoli? Because in some supermarkets yeah. they're reducing broccoli, so why is broccoli not getting the highlight? <laughs> Lettuce all of a sudden is the sexy vegetable, which I really don't understand why. Right, and there was a guy on Gumtree <laughs> who was selling iceberg lettuce oh, for £50. Pounds. No, it's three, it's 12, 12, 12, 12 for 50 12. A, a, a pack of 12. A pack of 12 for 50 quid. For 50 but quid, which is just ridiculous. Yeah. So we me, don't need strawberries in yeah, January. But the we, thing that stands out for me, though, is that it's, it's a bit of a shame for all the farmers in Spain and Italy that are having this crisis. There, it's their livelihoods that are absolutely. threatened well, at the moment, I, isn't it? I was on the train coming over tonight, and I was sitting in the train with a young farmer from East Lothian and he said we produce quite enough here that we can have and supply Scotland very happily with all the root vegetables. So why did, and okay, if that, e yes, that yes. easy to get, why did you not bring one in with you? Because <laughs> I was <laughs> on the train before there? I met him. <laughs> 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 but, but I am absolutely adamant that we should start eating our own stuff. So come on, uh, let's have, let's have eat our own February. Yes, Excellent. Let's all I agree with time. Martin. Let us calm down and eat our let own. Let us <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we'll be back with more headlines. So, yes, yes, yes. Before you dig into the steak, this is posh mac and cheese. So I want your honest opinion on the posh mac and cheese with truffle oil. So yeah, let's, let's have I, a taste I, of that. I do like my own mac and cheese, so you might have a lot to live up to oh, here. Hang on. Well, We've got some onions and mushrooms in there as well. It's garlic, garlic and mushrooms. You, garlic can, put, and you, can, you can throw the kitchen sink at this. You mm -hmm. can literally it, put some kitchen sink in this. Mm -hmm. it, it does taste expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not what you said uh, in between <laughs> the shots. You, you said they smell a bit like the stuff you get at the tin. <laughs> nice and creamy, it, though, it's excellent. No, that's absolutely delicious. We don't mm. talk about what's mm. said between the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that something that you make with food amigo, then? Is it, do you put no, the recipes that, out there? That is a little bit too indulgent, I think. For mm -hmm. I think the food amigo are trying to be a bit more healthy than that. Um, is that not, a Friday night treat? That's a Friday night treat. There's not, really a great, there's not really any ways of making mac and cheese that healthy, to be honest. It's either... Mm. You, just you go, go for it. Go for it or not, man. Right, well, I'm you're a chef. Well. You have a restaurant, so let's talk restaurants. Mm -hmm. What is going on in the world of restaurants? Well, eight restaurants, mm -hmm. only eight restaurants in, in Scotland have been voted in the Sunday Times top mm. 100. And I think that's disappointing. And the restaurants that they've chosen, some good ones, but we all have our own favourites. And I, don't, I think it's awfully sad because it's so subjective. Your favourite restaurant is completely different from mine. And I think that... It, you know, the ones that win it are fantastic. I've seen one, of, one or two of the ones that are in this list. I wouldn't have put them there, but I would have put another one in yeah. its place. So eight and out of the hundred are from Scotland. Eight out yeah. of the hundred are from Scotland. If you're saying that that's, that, you know, we've only got eight percent of, of good restaurants, yeah. I don't agree I'll, with I'll that. Bet because... it, these restaurants, I bet they go the extra mile. I bet when it comes to, like, the, the finishes and the, the, the amount of knowledge that the staff have. Well, I, I would all, say all all the there, the was, there was one restaurant that's not in there, and it's, it's a chef that, we, that has been on here, Mark Greenaway. Mm -hmm. I mean, there. He's not included in that list. Now, what he does in doing that extra mile, I think, is unbelievable. 
Does he have truffle oil? What do you <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I will tell you. No, David, I will tell you. Because he put mac and cheese with his steak, yeah. I'm just going to say... I buy Christmas presents for everybody this year. Well, truffles, proper truffles. Of course they will. Yeah. Of course they will. Yeah. 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 what do you make of this? Do you think eight is quite, is quite good? I is think it good it's not bad, to be honest. If you think about it, the percentage of Scots versus yeah. the percentage of the UK population, and it's all subjective and exactly. that, that, at the end of the day. So there'll be things, as you yeah. said, restaurants that are on that I would love that I haven't seen. Okay. And, I think it's not bad. I think it's good for Scotland on the map. There's some obvious ones, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know. In Glasgow, there's no Michelin star restaurants. Even yeah, more absolutely. It hasn't been for a very Surely long time. Surely in Hipster Finiston, there must be some coming shortly. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, though, I think sometimes they're not the things that make a good restaurant. I like a good restaurant that's friendly and good food it rather than being too exactly. pretentious. Yeah, so totally. I think exactly. sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah. So. I have yeah. to say, Mark does it beautifully, and those outsiders yeah. as well. I think it's a great restaurant Absolutely. as well. I think, that, yeah. Well, I don't want to okay. mention too many no. because it's not. What we have, no, no, we have to do is move away from the restaurants and yeah. talk about <laughs> Wraith becoming Miami. Oh okay. yeah. Yes. yeah, absolutely. I've got my bikini ready. To go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must have as well. <laughs> Listen, I, <laughs> we were, no, we were chatting. In. I mean, the thing is, we always look to extend the USA or far glamorous yeah. places in Scotland, in particular, to try and you know brighten up our towns, and actually we shouldn't. You know, Kirkcaldy's not known for its beaches, let's be honest. It's, it's, what is it worth? Yeah. Known for, it's known for the fair. Well, let's just, build on the fair. What, what they're doing is they're planting palm trees. Yeah, yeah west, east coast, wind, I think, yeah. Okay, yeah, but the Ross trees say, are designed to handle are. the wind yeah. and the cold. Do you think so it's, it's a lack of to... news, though? I mean, let's be honest, they're planting a few trees, to put it in perspective, <laughs> and we've got a whole piece <laughs> of this. I think it's great fun. I mean, it's lovely. It's, it's, it's you know, I mean, making it a little so bit So we're all heading Kirkcaldy for our summer oh, holidays. Yeah. Thank you guys, much appreciated. Now that's almost it for this evening and indeed the week. Whatever you're